Hey, it's me, T. Right there. From the Pattersons, taking the changes to bed. Hey, look, I'm going to start a new series. This is going to be a long one. So if you're not used to me, hey, not that many people look anyway, then just tune away. Don't worry about it. Uh, first of all, let me just, it's, uh, I just finished taking a nap. <laughs> afternoon nap, early afternoon nap. It's my survival water thing, my water filter thing that I make my own water. And I got, doesn't matter. Anyway, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink some of this because I take my afternoon, some of my afternoon pills. Black seed, tablet, vitamin D. Even though I was out, I was out. I did a more um, late mid morning, you know, exercise. I was out. It's interesting because I started out. I had put on, you know, I go out the way I'm dressed. I'm all covered up and stuff like that. And I got my headphones on, you know. And uh, when I first put them on, uh, check YouTube, and uh, I noticed Antonio Moore had put on a. No, no, I didn't notice that later. I take that back. Anyway, I was, I was listening to something. I forgot what I was listening to. Uh, but then I said, ah, I'm walking. Let me start exercising. So I went and, and found um, a Prince, uh, a rehearsal thing, uh, felines, called felines. Talk about feline. There's a dog barking. If you had a dog barking, don't worry about it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm in an undisclosed location. And you know that you know how you know how folks got, they got dogs. They leave them with whatever the dog's like, hey, yeah, you left me out. Blah, blah, blah. So you might hear stuff like that. Are you saying? Simon D. But I got my vitamin D because I was out for a long time because I put on a print, like I said, feline, the, 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 the rehearsal tape. And it's like 19, 20, 19 minutes or something like that. So I got to exercise for like 20 minutes to that to music. Actually, it was more than that. I put on, uh, this is um, apple cider vinegar, tablets. When Trump was talking about the bleach, <laughs> Drinking bleach and stuff, whatever he's talking about. But, well, actually, you, apple cider vinegar is the bleach that you want, actually, for internal bleaching, if you want to do it that way. So, just to get my uh, thing. So, I'm going to start a new city. Anyway, so, so, um, so I did my, I did, a, I did what's called, I call it, it's a dance walk. I'm, I'm basically walking with my headphones and I'm dancing. Well, you know, certain movements, whatever. So, that was good. But since I'm exercising, I'm walking. You know, you start thinking, you know. I also do this other uh, walking meditation, but I didn't do it this time. Anyway, so sort of exercising, if you walk, dan dance walking, right? You know, getting my vitamin D, beautiful day by trees. I was over there in some park, um, what's it called? Uh, Riverside Park, you know. And then I got an idea because, oh, I, I, I might take that back. What the heck am I talking about? When I went out, when I first go out, I saw the um, the Joe Biden, uh, Charlemagne, Breakfast Club, Charlemagne, whatever it is, Joe Biden interview. So I put, I play that when I start the walk before I start exercising, and and it took me whatever. I think that's it's right here. I'm gonna, I'm going to actually play it for you. It's uh, something like 18 minutes, 19 minutes long. So then I did the exercise after that. But while I was doing exercise, they, because of the the nature of the interview and stuff like that. And because we're in a, a lockdown and because I have absolutely nothing to do, I'm not going to start really any projects, my own writing projects until after my birthday in July. So I just thought, hey, you know, you never, shouldn't you talk about this? You know, Biden, you know, you need to say so. In fact, let's do it this way, because I, I know a lot of it. Uh, let me go, but let me jump once again. When I was coming back, I noticed that, not, not coming back, later on, much later on, I noticed that uh, Antonio Moore has done a commentary on this this Biden, and I'm going to listen to it soon. But before he does his, I want to do mine. So you, so I want to see how I ripped them off or something like that. You know what I mean? I mean people going to have the same thoughts anyway. But I'm going to come at, from, a, from a different angle, okay? I'm going to tell you why. I'm, it's going to take a while. Uh -huh. If this is going to take a while. This is, going to, this is a long one. I'm warning you ahead of time. Let me do this. Hey, I'm going to drink something. Hey, I know what to do. I know what to do. We're home under quarantine. <laughs> no, I'm saying self, whoever. And you're not supposed to be doing a whole lot of stuff, but you know what this is. You know what this is. So if I'm going to do this little analysis, unlike, uh, well, let me say what this analysis is. Oops, sorry. Um, for a lo I, I've been teaching for a long time. Okay, all kind, all levels. Okay, started with doesn't matter. Um, so I mean, in my degree, in my 
Teaching is in basically communications, if you want to put it that way. I don't want to say journalism, but that's kind of stupid. Communications, okay? And so I'm a qualified whoever. I've taught at university level. I've taught at every level, okay? Um, uh, so I'm going to play this thing, and I'm going to go at it as, as from a from my political head and also my journalistic, well, whatever. And my, my, I should say my, my specialty in communications um, has developed into, uh, well, everything, but, um, but uh, audio drama, but, but, but I'm trained in everything, especially, especially interviewing techniques and stuff like that, because I've interviewed for a long time. Let me put it this way. I've been interviewing people since, oh, gee, I mean, officially, I guess you want, since at least 1982. <laughs> So I'm an interviewer, right? In fact, if you're looking at this channel here, this is me waxing, but on my channel, there's an interview section. You should check out the interview people like that. Okay, shall we start? So I'm basically going to critique this as we go along. I'm going to tell you what's going on, you know? I uh, hope, hope you can hear the speakers. I got my speakers up here. I suppose you can hear it. We'll see what happens. Hey. Oh. Ah, come on, thing. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Vice President Biden, how are you today? Good. Good to see you. Same here. You know? Okay. Just in case, let me move a speaker over so you can hear. So, typical greetings. How are you today? Da -da -da. Great. No problems. Uh, you know, I've been critical of you. Um, I, I have a few things I want to talk to you about. I know you have. Okay, no, no, no worries. No, okay, let me say this. Remember, Charlemagne the God is not... Um, um, he interviews, right? But his he 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 was first hired, came into the scene as basically let's call it uh, onto the, when I say onto the scene, I mean you know when you basically see as, as a shock jock. Let's put it that way. And what he's become is or then became a, a celebrity interviewer, okay? And then because of the nature of the Breakfast Club and the, where the political landscape, whatever have you, they want to do whatever. So now he interviews a lot of people. But remember, he's still a celebrity interviewer. So think of this as a celebrity interview, not a political interview. If you think of it as a political interview, you're going to mess yourself up because he's not politically qualified. OK, I mean, I don't know what organizations he grew up in politically, whatever have you, when, 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 you know, have you through any political process. So I'm not going to I'm not going to put the burden of he didn't know the political things. So I'm just going to look at it as it's a celebrity interview, whatever. Have you. So it starts off right with his. Let me tell you, how you doing? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Hey, doing all right. Okay, here we go. Let's let's go see what's going on next. Yeah. You don't know me. No, I don't. That's why I want to get to know you today. I want to Ooh. get to know you today. Now, this is interesting to me. I'm going cultural here. He says, Biden says, you don't know me, right? Now, there's a code in 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 certain levels of the black community. And in fact, it was done, okay. It was done in two thousand when Barack Obama first ran. I remember I could see him now. John Lewis was someplace when he's going to endorse Hillary Clinton. He said about Bernie Sanders. Oh, you know, we don't know him. I don't know him. This is a, in other words when you say you 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 know someone don't know. This is I'm trying to say black Biden is talking black talk. You know, <laughs> that's a, okay. You may not understand it. Don't worry about it. those people understand it. You go on with me. Let's because I don't want to. Uh, here we go. Uh, I want to talk to you about mostly black stuff. But, you know, first of all, how are you? He's going to represent black quarantine? people. You know. Thank God everybody's doing well. How Thank about you? He's not going to wood. This is good. And we yeah. over here, bless black and highly favored. There we go. Bless black and highly. See, now you know it's a black. Now he, now he, now it's a black stuff. Now he did Charlemagne proclaim this is going to be black, right? Then he says a black thing. We, you know, we're blessed, blah, 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 blah. You know, we got to you know, represent. Here we go. Well, I tell you what, the black community is getting killed, though. That is very, very true. That is very true. Um, you know, it's a, it's a lot of right wing media. That's an interesting thing, too. Also, remember, I, Biden has black speak, not overly. He has that subtle thing. You know, black, black community is getting killed. Come on now. That's a black thing. You know, the way he even says kill, that's a black way to do it okay here we go and uh, it's interesting he should now 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 you see what's happened look let's see what's happening so now biden's actually hinted to him like hey, biden's good. so we're going to talk about, about the black community so they're dancing with each other the outlets, they, they question you they question your cognitive health they don't they don't think <laughs> they don't think everything's working upstairs what, what do you say to that i say i can hardly wait to meet with that guy who is the stable genius Okay. <laughs> now, so he brings up one thing, and by old format, he brings it back around to Trump. You know, one, one, one thing I've been okay. critical about is I feel like you've right. been like MIA during this global thing. Okay, valid thing. Okay, now, up until now, sh 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 they really haven't said anything. Well, not supposed to, maybe they should. 
but anyway, he, he the first thing is uh, he talks about his cognitive addiction. Well, that's like I guess that's a warm up thing. It's not his concern. You know, anybody would say that. But so let's let's keep going now. Here we get into some some the first black issue I think here is here. You know, it's people like Governor Cuomo here in New York who oh, become. I see. Political stars. Listen, okay, yeah. No, this he's, he's basically well, which is a good I'm point. Like, he's supposed I'm, to be I'm this wondering point. Wondering hey, gonna where's your leadership? You know, campaign. In fact, this is a good thing. Well, I you tell know. you what, I'm doing. Biden doesn't have to do anything. He's well, he feels that he's just he's not leading. He's just sitting in the house and let's see what let's see what his his thing is. Charlemagne is saying, "Hey, where's your leadership?" You know, in this in this in this thing, you know. I'm I'm following the rules, man. Following the rules. Number one, man. I'm keeping the rules. My governor says he doesn't want us out. I'm following the rules, man. I haven't been out. I'm I wear out. my mask. I have a mask. mask. I got Secret Service outside. I walk That's outside. Right. I have it on. They get tested. And by the way, I'm beating them across the board. Everybody gets tested. Over 160 million mm -hmm. people have watched me so far on shows oh. like yours. Oh, this is interesting. Here's the first, I think, big problem he's going to have. He just quoted a, a source. In other words, before, if you had um, some sort of Q rating for TV or you or you had some sort of survey, how many people is watching. But now you have the tickets. How many people follow you? How many people watch this thing? Now, you have to understand, even even people who the two or three people who watch this thing, you might tune in and then, you know, you see me doing my little pill thing. You say and you go away. So it gets registered that, that you viewed it. But that, did you see the whole thing? I don't think so. Anyway, so this is what's happening. So, so he's in a different metric. He's going to say, "Oh, if I get a lot of a lot of watches and a lot of likes, then that's that's a, uh, it's almost like saying that's a legitimate survey. That's a legitimate thing." Let's see what else he's saying. Okay. All the stuff about it hurting me. It's not hurting me. I'm winning in all those states. I'm ahead in all national polls. And uh, the more he talks, the better off I am. Yeah, we we know polls polls can be illusions. Okay, like, you know, we so we'll be uh, uh, um, and look what happened. Totally different. Show me, but show me, bro. A, a good thing. Polls can be illusion, you know, an illusion. But 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 let them keep on going with what they're saying. Here we go. Sixteen is totally different. What you had then is you had somebody who didn't. They didn't know it all. They wanted to just change the system the way it was. He was the biggest change. He had no serious opposition. It turned out to materialize, and uh, so it's totally different, Woo. right? Did he say he had no serious opposition that materialized? Is he really talking? I don't know if he's talking about Republican. Uh, what, what do you call that? Uh, primaries, or he told us no serious opposition, meaning Hillary Clinton. I'm not sure. Let's keep on going. Now we're in a situation where it's like you know that Carney show goes through town once, and you find out. That's going to relate to no people you know, under any one of those Carney three show. shows that get pushed around. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Next time it comes back, what do you do? Next time you're back, you ain't playing. You got to figure it out. Okay, here's the first problem. My community's figured out. Charlemagne is allowing him to talk deal. too much. What I have to do things. is I have to his regular, talk about uh, what do you call things that, that um, matter. And the things that matter are... His regular... Now, um, right now, there's a talking study points. out at Columbia mm -hmm. University and a disease control center up there. So right now, Biden's controlling the whole conversation. Okay, it's just his talking points. This is whole... Charlemagne ain't... He ain't... He, Okay. They pointed out that if he had listened to me and others and acted just one week earlier to deal with this virus. There's a point. If he had listened to me, mean meaning Trump, you know, or, you know, this would be like and others. This is interesting. I want to see who challenges this. This is going to be quite fun. You know what I mean? Like, well, your leadership, but nobody. No, let's see what happens. There'll be 36,000 fewer people dead. 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 Hmm. And you guys are wondering what are we? What's he? Wow! There you go. He got passionate. Dead, dead, dead. Very dramatic. Very passionate. I sort of like that. You doing? Come on, man. Oh, he got black again. Come on, man. Get a life. Oh, get a life. Get a That's life. Old. This get guy life. has That's been incredibly That's... terrible. And what what we've had is, you know, back in when uh, in January, hmm. I said I wrote an article back. I think at twenty seventh of January. I said this pandemic's here. Oh boy. In January, he wrote something. Every other country that was really? acted around the time, got, got the notice around the time we did, they this had considerably fewer deaths as a percent of the population. Now, people are going to bring out the receipts. Take hard records and find what out he wrote exactly how stuff. many people in the black community are getting COVID and are dying from it. And look what's happened. 
Not no. everybody's going, oh, surprise. Again, we have a problem here. Charlemagne ain't, not, ain't challenged nothing. Several points have gone by. Charlemagne, the celebrity, you know, the celebrity interviewer, and, and, and the celebrity he has on right now is not it getting he's getting interviewed like a celebrity who's pushing a product rather than a politician who needs to be challenged. But let's keep going. A surprise. Look, everybody knows this. We have to come back. We have to fight back. And, you know, the crisis lays laying bare of the institutional racism that's still prevalent in our society. And I believe we have to address it okay. by transforming our economy this time, bringing everybody there along. We go. Here's where we start to depart, okay? When you start to, when somebody, white person, talk about institutional racism, whatever, and he's the institution that causes this racism, and they start talking about black people like this, then we're going to have some problems. Let's, let's, let's go. Especially when we say racism. <laughs> Please. And we haven't, look, he started to undermine the pillars of the economy before. The, look, the blinders, Charlemagne, in my view, have been taken off. Okay. Now people recognize Actually, that those essential else workers, saying. a disproportionate amount of them are African-American. And they're Afri breaking their American. necks, okay. risking their lives, losing their lives. They're grocery okay. store workers, they're uh, bus drivers, he's they're doing delivery people, they're what people everybody who are does. on the line. They are the they're, 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 they're the health care workers who are in a position where okay, he's citing all these people. The I mean, and, but the problem is he's just reporting it like away. everybody else. He's just so reporting this time it. when we come back, well, we all know this. We not only rebuild, move this along. We not only rebuild. Now you said we're going to come back and we rebuild. With what? what are you, how are you going to do this? We can create millions of new jobs. We're going to create millions of energy. How are you going to do can, this? There's jobs. There's a, a job Charlemagne just let me talk to How are you going to do this? It's about your dignity. It's about respect. It's about how you're treated. Dig oh, I'm going to say. And that the buzzword, never mind. When they start saying dignity and respect or whatever have you, there used to be a thing in the South Bronx. I don't know about you. I grew up in the South Bronx, right? The Bronx, you know? And, you know, this is way before anyway. The, the, the cops, at some point, the cops said, you have to give me some respect. And the kids would say, well, you got to show us some respect. But that was later on, way before then, the respect was there. Now it's just the word. You know, it's like the word love. You know, it's just the word. And people use it, you got to give me some respect. What for? Did, did you earn any respect? Good question. Okay, here we go. Let's keep going. That's how we built the from the working class to the middle class. But this time, we have to address the institutional racism. Uh, We've seen it words. clearly now. No actions. In a, in a black majority county, they're six times more likely to die in Again, the pandemic. Again, we're the reporting it. They're disproportionately right? uninsured. Numbers that yeah. we know already. They disproportionately make up the essential jobs that, 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 that they can't do at home. They're risking their lives every day. Now, in one way, maybe Charlemagne's tactic was to let him talk so he can, maybe he'll talk himself out, maybe he'll trip up and let people blah, 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 but it's not working. It's not, as an interview, this thing is not working, not 18 minutes. Close enough. And this Biden recovery I'm going to put together will bring Biden everybody recovery. along. We're going to build a better, a better future. Not Biden back recovery. to what we had, but a better. This, back this Biden better recovery. recovery. I'm, I'm what Biden recovery? That, um, I don't know if you saw a couple weeks ago, um, Sean Combs, you might, you might know him as Diddy. Yeah. Know? He, he okay, said, here's the problem. Here's a weird big problem. Including myself, Phil, and that's that. He said, now he just mentioned Puff Daddy, right? And with a lot of people last week, the other week, whatever have you, and including myself. What has Charlemagne done? He just said, I'm a spokesperson for black people. Maybe you are. I don't know what segment of black person you spoke for, but you, you know, you're doing a. Anyway, he's basically saying he's reaffirming that the, the celebrity class is 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 what people you know forget. I'm not even talking about what do you call that class? Uh, the this you know the acad the academic. Does he talk about academics? No, he's talking about me and P Diddy. Basically, let's see what's going on. Democrats take black voters for granted. You know, um, votes are quid pro quo, right? It's not like I don't want to vote. I just want to know what candidates will do for us. Now, and change for our votes. The what I realized, progressive Latinos, uh, the LGBT is, community. He's had these Absolutely. points before, we want and it hasn't changed the points. Like black people are old. They keep on, he keeps on saying the same points. Absolutely, doesn't have well, new points. I say, remember when I said Biden can't win the primaries? Yes, I kicked everybody's out. I, excuse me. It I don't won. look like that. I need you to say that. You do uh, what? I won overwhelmingly. I told you when I got to South Carolina, 
I won every single county. I well, have a larger share of the black vote did than win. anybody has, including Barack. But he won. I increased the including vote Barack. in Virginia. That was a mistake. By 70. He just made a mistake. He said one, including, uh, he basically said he even beat out Barack, you know, for those, for those, for those kind of things. So this is going to be quite interesting how people get emotional, how, what kind of receipts are going to be brought up about, about that. This is going to be quite, quite interesting. But now we get to the gist of the matter. But again, Charlemagne is not doing his job. Or not doing a journalistic job. He's doing a celebrity, um, a celebrity interview job, but not a journalistic job. Let's go. Percent. Look, what people don't know about me is I come from a state that's the eighth largest black population in America. Okay, the now we're going to get the window dressing. I get ninety six percent. You know all the rest of, of that stuff. vote for the because last forty do. years. This is it's, interesting. They're, they're of course you do. Say it my way. Brung me to the dance. The Democratic that's Party. How you know how many people are voting? And everybody's shocked. I get overwhelming support from the black leadership, young and old. That's right. Every the black leadership, he's right. That's ahead. who he gets the support and from. it's not just, I hear this, oh yeah, old blacks are with Biden, but youngs aren't. Look at the polling data. Polling data, let's say it's off by half. Come on, man. Come Give on, man. Give me a break here. This Give is where I break. come from. I got involved. I came home from college. And I had a job okay, now a we get another talking point. I love this one. And my city is the only oh, city in America. He's going to tell his story. Then he tells all over the place. Military right? for 10 months. Let me use my other one. When Dr. King it. was shot. And, move this and one I one. had this fancy job, a kid coming from a from a lower middle income household. Oh, no, here you go. I lower middle became income. became a public defender. And I stayed okay, in that I community. See. I was the only guy when I was in high school. I had a job, a country club kind of job with a, Move the with a swimming pool. I, could talk. I was the only white employee in East Side because I wanted to work in the project. Okay, so because he wanted, wanted to work in the project. He wanted to work with black people. This is this was his desire. That's what he's saying right now. Oh, I can't tell you. Like like I said, I don't know what's going on, but I think he's really going to get tore up. I mean, so, I got to check out right after. I'm going to post this right away, I think. Crime bill. Crime bill increase mass incarceration. Now we got Other split things increase here right mass now. incarceration. He's talking about the crime bill that he done, and he said, well, that, that didn't really do nothing, you know, it. beat up on you black people. Take a look. So I'm not going to parse this out the vast again. Majority of the black caucus I know I know what he's going to say. Let me, the crime should bill. I stop it here now? Almost every major city no. black mayor supported the crime bill. Okay. So here we go. I know, just, just, believe me, uh, for your black Twitter, black with your social media is going to rip this this thing apart. So that I'm, this, I'm going to go and be entertained. I'm going to almost stop it here. I'm only halfway through. Eight some is. I'm at the eight minute mark. I'm quite, quite sure I should jump ahead. And, nah, I want to keep on comment. People going to comment. You're going to comment. But here's the thing that you have to understand. Anybody, we're informed by what what what, inf what 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 made you. You know what I mean? And. In this day and age, you know, I don't know. If, first of all, you don't. I don't even know why. You're gonna find people to, to 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 listen to in here, and you should listen to those people. Stop listening to these politicians and celebrity interviews. It's not gonna do you any good. We have some serious business to do, and and it doesn't. And I don't know. You know, so let, let me listen to what maybe Antonio has to say about this and a bunch of other people so I can be highly entertained. Meanwhile, just let you, I'm going to let you go. This little experiment I'm trying to do because I was bored. You know what I mean? So, I did, so I'm just trying to be a, a teacher. I should give you an interviewing techniques. Now nah, I won't get into it. Interviewing techniques is basically, you know, there are points. When a person reaches a point, they're going to go to the next point. You don't let them go to the next point. Unless you want them to go to the next point. You have to challenge each and every point. And you have to make things political. And then since you're in a political sphere and everybody asking the same question, you got to find a way to ask other questions. Now, I listen, actually, I did listen to this whole, I listened to the whole thing. And he's talking about black things. And he never, here we go. This is why I want to look at what Antonio Moore has to say about this. He never brought up reparations. How could you say this is a this is a black? We're going to talk about black issues. I'm a I'm a black this thing, and I'm a I'm an excellent this or whatever have you. And we're going to have a black interview, and you never bring up reparations. You never ask them about reparations. Challenge that. That should have been the first thing out of your mouth. Because to solve this problem, you have to have money, income, and reparations is going to give you some money. And my reparations includes the debt you believe, but we won't get into it right now. So let me let you go. You know, just letting you know, know me, letting you know me. T from the Pattersons, letting you know, but I only suspect. Yeah. I'm going to this location. 